So unfortunately, as updates are prone to do, yesterday's hotfix brought a couple of new bugs along with it, and one of them can be quite a problem for your diamonds, so I wanted to basically explain what that bug is and how to work around it, so hopefully as few diamonds and trophy animals are lost as possible. Now I'm sure a lot of you guys already know about this bug, but for those of you that don't, basically any animal you shoot that runs out of render after it's been shot is going to become invisible. So we have a level 6k buffalo up here, it's quite far away, about 370 meters, and if we go for a long shot with the 7mm, it's gonna die, but it's gonna have to run pretty far before it does so, and certainly, it's gonna be out of our render by that time. And even though we have Rocky with us, he's not gonna be able to find it, he'll be able to track it, but he won't be able to actually recover the animals. So the other thing we're gonna do just to ensure that it goes out of our render right now, is actually run back away from the direction that it was going just to actually show exactly what's going on. Normally this wouldn't be the thing to do, it would actually be quite the opposite, but just to be absolutely certain we're going to see this bug. But as I mentioned, we can actually see the blood here, and we can set Rocky on the trail and he will be able to follow it all the way up until the point where the Cape Buffalo should be laying, but he's not actually going to be able to show us exactly where it is, and that's kind of a problem for basically what is going to happen here, where it's an invisible animal, because you can still collect it, but it still isn't as straightforward as just finding wherever the invisible animal is down at, so we'll let Rocky do his job here and figure out where it should be. But it looks like the distance that he would have made it definitely would have been out of our render, so that means at the end of this trail, there is definitely going to be no visible Cape Buffalo. And what we should see as we're getting to 0-25 to on the health, is Rocky pretty much go to idle, and that's exactly what just happened. We have blood here, he should still be tracking, but then no Cape Buffalo, and unfortunately that blood is turning, so we may not even be able to recover the animal by finding where the invisible one is, which of course is a big issue in any circumstance, but especially if you're trying to recover a diamond. So I'm going to run around here a little bit and see if I can actually figure out exactly where it's laying, just to show what happens then. If we can't find it here, there is another scenario where this can happen, and I want to show that as well, so if we don't get this one to come up, we'll do it on the next one. And running around for a couple of minutes here, I definitely cannot find where the animal should be down at, and that in and of itself really shows the issue here. The invisible animal sometimes is just not going to be recoverable at all because they may change direction at the very end. But it's not just animals that run out of render after you shoot them. If you shoot an animal and then leave render just to either go shoot another animal or track another animal first, that animal also is going to be invisible, so we'll go and just show that. Now this is going to be a little bit unnecessary, but we're going to take out this jackal with the 7mm just to ensure that it's going to drop in his tracks. So we can see where it's going to end up, a little bit of sliding around there, and we'll mark exactly where it is, because this one I do want to show what happens when you attempt to claim it. So just to be absolutely certain, we went all the way back to 500 meters away, and we can see we marked the area, there is no jackal, but we should be able to go to that spot and still actually claim the animal. It's just not super straightforward even with that. And actually in this case, because we dropped it, we have the blood here to help us as well, and it does say confirm trophy. We'll click that, you get that little flash of the harvest screen, you get the cash reward, and that's it. Now, you could go back to the trophy lodge and taxonomize these animals still using the last unsaved harvest feature, but if it's an animal with antlers or horns, it comes out looking like this black tail with nothing on its head, so we still want to avoid that. And that's basically what I wanted to talk about now. I wanted to first detail the bugs so you guys know exactly what's going on, so now we're going to talk about what to do to avoid it. Now obviously the biggest thing is don't let animals go out of your render once you've shot them, but basically get as close as possible to take your shot. In this case with this feral goat, almost every diamond feral goat we've shot, we're shooting at like 300 meters or farther, but with this one I did not want to run out of render, it's actually a black white fur type, which is a diamond uh, color that we don't have for feral goats, and I got into 75 meters, made sure to try to go for a hard shot, and fortunately it dropped and we're able to get that one. So. It's really going to be about, at least for those trophy animals that you really don't want to lose, getting as close as possible so if the animal doesn't drop, it doesn't actually run out of your render, and ideally making those drop shots so there's no question about it, and once you do, don't go anywhere else, go straight to the animal and claim it. And there is still one kind of circumstance where that can be a problem, and it's in going for long shots, even if you're confident you can drop the animal, there are places where you have to go around a large body of water and you may end up going out of render of the animal that way, so for those trophy animals you don't want to lose, it's important to take into account situations like that. So we're actually going to hop on Te Awaroa really quickly and just kind of show a situation where that can happen. Now it's pretty unlikely, but there is a chance with this turkey having a 9 to 11 kg weight estimate, 
it could be a diamond level 2, but if we shot it from here, there's no way to avoid it going invisible because the only ways to get over there are a crossing in the river over here, which you can see in the bottom right is almost 600 meters away, or the bridge, which is about 900 meters away. There's no way to stay within that 400 meter render distance, so rather than shooting it from here, the only way to guarantee that the animal doesn't go invisible is going all the way around finding that crossing point and getting on the same side of the river as the animal, and I guess that is fairly obvious, but for so long, it's just been shoot the animal when you get the shot. A lot of times being across the river is good because the animal is far enough away that it doesn't see you, but it's risking that invisible glitch and you just never know if you're going to be able to even recover the animal. I mean, a turkey doesn't often run that far, but they do tend to run when hit with a 22, and we could have the same situation as the Cape Buffalo where we just simply can't find it. So we'll go over here to the shorter side where we have to cross and actually get a shot at that turkey from the side that guarantees us recovering it. And now that we're on the same side as the turkey, we can pretty freely just take our shot and be certain that it's not going to leave our render. And we didn't get a vital there, but it's still going to drop quickly. We can go and see what it's going to score. But that is the basic idea. There's a couple of things to keep in mind. Basically, how far away the animal is and how far it's likely to run based on your shot. And also how far you got to go to actually claim it. There's some spots, much like here on Teoro, where you have to leave render the animal from where you are. So keeping that in mind and being in a position where you don't have to deal with those kind of obstacles can be pretty important for trying to avoid this particular bug. And just for the sake of seeing it, it is just a 4.4 goal scoring turkey, but nice to get another one for respawns because we still have yet to actually kill a diamond turkey off of Te Aoroa. And oddly enough, I really wasn't setting out to get anything that special when I went on Te Aoroa multiplayer, but that black white feral goat is actually one that I really wanted, so we are going to go back to the trophy lodge real quick. And for once, a fairly easy decision, taking down a diamond level 4 feral goat for our new level 5 black white. And I like that. Black white fur type beside the white fur type, just up there above the doorway. But one more thing regarding that particular bug, I have heard that animals that are shot and don't die also turn invisible, but that's really hard to test, and unfortunately I wasn't able to confirm that. But I would just say if you make a poor shot and the animal seems to be gone, it may actually be invisible. But again, those couple of things that I mentioned, just kind of be aware of how far the animal is away and how far it's likely to run based on your shot. Try to make those drop shots where you can and pay attention to the obstacles you may have to go around to actually claim your animal. And you should be quite fine dealing with that particular bug. And hopefully it's going to be fixed sometime in the relatively near future. It's hard to say exactly when that might be, but fortunately there are ways to work around it. So anyway, Hopefully that helps you guys to avoid losing any trophy animals. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you next time.